What's up, y'all? I want to talk about debunking some of these stereotypes. For example, that Dominicans don't wear socks. Yo, that's played out. That's old. That's not even considered a stereotype anymore because it's a fact now. It's been proven. Dominicans don't wear socks. And I'm half Dominican. So I know for a fact that sometimes, sometimes, it's in my nature not to wear socks. If something comes over me, I don't even know that I'm not wearing socks. That's how bad it is. But that's not what I want to talk about. I want to talk about this new stereotype that hasn't even started yet. It's about Dominicans not wearing sleeves. Is that what's new now? Is that what's up? Is that what's the new thing right now? Not wearing sleeves? I'm watching this award show, right? Now check out this cat, Prince Royce. Check him out. Carnaval de Premio Juventud, ahora acompañado por Prince Royce. Look, he's out there not wearing sleeves. Just feeding to the fire of the stereotype that Dominicans don't wear sleeves. That's not all though. He's wearing an extra, extra, extra small tank top and it's still baggy on him. Yo, what's up Dominicans? Let's get our shit together, man. Okay, you say, well, that's just one cat doing it. That's not everybody doing it. Oh, well, check this out. In the same award show, when I thought I've seen it all, here comes this cat, Romeo Santos. No sleeves, really? Really, is that is that what's new? Now, one thing is if you're out there shirtless, no one's gonna hate on that. If you wanna show the girls your muscles, yo, more power to you. But when you're wearing a little leather vest with no sleeves, and you're crossing that awkwardness line that you know you shouldn't be wearing that. I don't even know who sells that. And whoever sells that, someone needs to walk up in that store and burn it. We can't have Dominicans buying this attire and going out there in the streets. What I suggest is when you see one of these cats wearing one of these little leather vests, then you go up to them and just sock them one time and then explain to them why. Educate them like, look, you need to take that off. We can't have our children thinking that it's okay. I'm actually in the works right now. I'm trying to pass legislation that's gonna make some of these items illegal, at least where I'm at. I don't want people around me wearing that. If you're around people that's wearing this, you're in a bad place. That's not the place you wanna be. I don't care if you agree with me or not, because if you don't agree with me, you're probably not wearing socks right now, and you got about 10 of them leather vests in your closet right now with them dress pants that's high water. You're mad because you, you invested all your money in some leather vests. You ain't going nowhere with no leather vest. Not in life. I suggest we stop this, we stop this now. If not, you're gonna have cats wearing fanny packs any minute. I'm telling you, first, no socks, then leather vest, then fanny packs. Is that what you want? That's what you want your kids going to school like? Let's put a stop to this. Dominicans, unite, unite against tackiness. Let's go, let's get out of here, man. Yeah.